With stock photography or with any style of photography, light is an important part of the story. Light sets the mood. Light focuses attention. So light is important. I think I learned to shoot using natural light. And so it's my first love. I can walk into a space and understand that light. But when I wanted to start shooting with artificial lights, I did find it intimidating. And I think, you know, as a photographer, there's two sides to what we do. There's the emotional side and there's the technical side. So if you find the technical side of photography a little more, you know, challenging, that's okay. You just have to spend time with it. The thing about lighting is that artificial light is just helping you achieve what you're seeing with natural light. And it's just about learning to control it. In terms of the photo shoot that we're doing for this master class, when I walked into the location, I took a look at the light and I felt that the light was really beautiful. It was really filling the space. However, I thought it could use a little more shape and direction. So I did something that I often do. I looked at the direction that the window light was coming in and I put my own light in the same spot. That way we're still getting that natural light, but we're just enhancing it a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about wardrobe because I really think that wardrobe can make or break a shoot. Wardrobe is a great way to add a color palette to your shoot. I do a combination. I ask my talent to bring some clothing options from home and I also shop for their clothing. That way we have a variety of, of options. It's important to avoid logos, busy patterns. Keep in mind that things should feel modern and timeless. You want to avoid things that are overly trendy because they will quickly date a photo. Think about your shot list, right? What are the scenarios that you're going to be having during your shoot? What do they wear to breakfast? Is it pajamas? Is it comfy clothes? How do they dress for work? Are they working from home? Are they going into an office? What kind of office is it? How do people dress when they're a graphic designer, when they're, you know, a leader in their company? They're all really specific things, but they really help to fill in the story. There are so many ways to establish trust. Uh, a couple things that work for me. Number one, give the shoot time. You know, you can't expect people to just show up on set and immediately be ready to start acting. Uh, giving your shoot enough time to breathe helps people feel comfortable. As time goes by, they will feel more and more comfortable on camera. Uh, another tip that I have is just to listen to people. You know, when people feel like you care about them, I think that that helps them relax and open up. You know, I think there's a certain amount of nervous energy when people get onto a set in the first in the first few moments. So, you know, another tip I have is just to give yourself something easy to start the shoot off with. I almost like to think of it as a warm-up shot. Uh, something something that's easy for your actors or your or, or your people to sort of just like throw themselves into, you know. For example, maybe doing homework. You know, homework is something that like people can focus on. It's something that's easy for them to act naturally with. So always think about that first shot, you know. You'll see that it goes well and I think that after that you'll start to feel comfortable, they'll start to feel comfortable and the shoot will go well from there. But whether they're actors or real people, your job on set is to direct them and help them feel comfortable because it's when people feel comfortable that we really get to the heart of their emotions and that makes for a great shoot. I like to put all my props in place before the talent ever steps onto set. That means at the breakfast table, I bring out the milk, I bring out the cereal, I bring out the bowls, I bring out the other props that are gonna help this story feel real. Then when everything is set, that's when I ask the talent to step into the scenario. That way, we have everything the way we want it and we can just focus on their emotion. Once the talent is in place, once the props are in place, I really like to give it breathing room. I don't like to overly direct my subjects in the beginning. I like to give them a prompt. For example, why don't you tell your mom about school today? Then I'll step back and just let the action play out. This is another way for people to feel comfortable, especially if they're not actors. I love working with kids because they bring their own beautiful energy. That being said, they can be unpredictable. So my tips for working with kids are, you know, give them things that are achievable, help them, you know, talk with them about the things that they do every day and ask them to do those things on camera, but also just give them room to be themselves. Frankly, 
Some of the best moments I've captured with kids are when I've just let them do whatever they want. Kids have a lot of energy and you have to give them opportunities to release that energy. Sometimes when things are starting to feel too staged, it's great to just step away from it for a moment, take a break, step out of the scene, talk about something completely different. I often find that when you step back into the scene, that feeling of being staged goes away and it feels more natural again. If they're new to the camera, if they don't have as much experience in their head, they're just thinking like, how am I doing? So being able to say, hey, you're doing a great job, that can really just give them a confidence boost to help them feel a little bit more comfortable. Sometimes to get those really authentic moments, it's important to just keep the camera ready, right? Sometimes you're shooting a portrait and you think you've got it already, but keep the camera going because it's in those seconds that happen after the portrait that people start to relax, that they start to laugh. If you have your camera ready, you're going to continue to capture great moments. I always incorporate portraits into my stock photo shoots. These are just one part of the story that's always worth telling. In terms of when you want to shoot the portraits, it's really up to you. Sometimes I go from room to room with my shoots, and if I'm in a room that has great portrait light, I'll take the portrait at that time. Other times I'll leave the portraits to the end. It's kind of a nice way to end a shoot. Uh, everyone's feeling really relaxed by that time. Hopefully everyone's having fun. So taking some time at the end of the shoot just to say, hey, let's have some great portraits. That feels like a really good moment to do that. It's not just about the things that people are doing. Sometimes it's just about purely like, who is this person? Portraits are always part of the story. It's something that buyers are always looking for. And it's definitely something you should always make sure to get during your shoots. Something I've done more and more with my shoots lately is to start to incorporate video. I know that sometimes video can feel like a difficult transition for a stills photographer, but you have to think of video as just an alternative way to tell the story. You already know the most important things. You already understand composition. You already understand how to direct talent. Video in some ways is just like a moving picture. When you start to think about video, it's okay to start small. You know, your shoot can still primarily be a stills shoot, but maybe think of two or three moments within the day in the life that might lend themselves well to video and just take that time. Take that time to capture those little video moments. If you're able to bring two camera bodies to the shoot, this is a super easy way to be able to incorporate video. You have your stills camera and you have your video camera. That way, when you wanna to switch to video, you have the camera with the settings already the way you want them. It's just smart to shoot a little bit of video. Uh, the clients look for it and it's just a great way to maximize your opportunity with all the different things that you have available.